Today we are in the third decade of the 21st century. In the last two decades, economies across the world have grown stunningly. And so have grown the metropolitan areas. We have multiple factors that determine wealth. Yet in most of the cases, wealth at various levels is measured by the gross domestic product. So, why not use the same here? As this term refers to the market value of all the goods and services offered and provided by a particular area. So, considering the same factor, let's see what we have. Let's begin with number 5, which is London. One of the oldest cities in the world, and a former center of power for more than a century during the British Empire. This city was a dream for many people worldwide, making it a vital nerve. Today the economy of London is dominated by service industries, particularly the financial services. This financial sector has strong links with other parts of the United Kingdom economy. The city is a home to banks, investment firms, hedge funds, insurance companies and all. It is one of the largest financial exporters in the world, which makes a significant contribution to the UK's balance of payments. In the 2020 Global Financial Centers Index, London was ranked for having the second most competitive financial center after New York City. Now coming to the numbers, London City alone produced $650 billion, which is around one-fourth of the UK's GDP in 2018. Apart from this, London is also home to around 63 billionaires, of which more than 35 are from different parts of the world including India, Iceland, Russia, and many more. According to a Forbes article, if we combine the net worth of these individuals, then it could be around $300 billion. Next up, we have the capital and largest metropolis of South Korea, Seoul. Holding a GDP of massive $780 billion. History says that Seoul was founded as early as 17 BC, and is considered to be one of the oldest surviving settlements in the East Asian region. Even though the city has suffered losses from the World War II and the Korean War, it has still managed to embrace itself from the atrocities. Then Seoul started to develop as a city, and never stopped since. Today major technology hubs centered in Gangnam and the Seoul capital area, are home to the headquarters of 14 Fortune Global 500 companies, including giants like Samsung, Hyundai, and LG. Along with manufacturing, Seoul's service industry also grew significantly from the last few decades. The service sector employs the largest proportion of the city's workforce. Major employers include the multinationals and trade corporations whose headquarters are in Seoul, yet financial and insurance companies are also a big part of it. The city also accommodates more than 30 billionaires, with a combined net worth of almost $100 billion. The advanced technological environment, the delicious local food, combined with the low crime rate truly make this city a highly attractive place. Next is the City of Angels. Yes, we are talking about Los Angeles. LA is the second largest city in the United States after New York, and the third largest city in North America, with a GDP of $790 billion. If Los Angeles County were itself an independent nation, which were ranked among the world's 214 independent national economies, it would rank as the world's 18th largest economy. In fact it has a larger gross economic output than Saudi Arabia, Switzerland, Thailand or Sweden. The reason behind this robust economy of LA, is that it is very diverse. LA has one of the most dynamic economies, with a fast-growing and immense high-tech industry, the nation's largest manufacturing base, and a rapidly increasing amount of venture capital investment in startups. The LA region is also known for innovation, creative new business concepts and new sectors. This makes LA the creative capital of USA. Also the city's Hollywood neighborhood has become recognized as the center of the motion picture industry, while being the center of the television industry. This city houses more than 35 billionaires. The mild and beautiful weather here allows a year-round outdoor lifestyle. Residents enjoy miles of beaches, local mountains, music, sports, and unlimited entertainment and cultural choices. Ranked as the second safest big city in America, with an incredibly diverse population, LA is one of the best places to live in the US. Now we have yet another city from the United States. This city doesn't even need an introduction. This is New York. The city that never sleeps. New York is one of the most historically rich cities in the United States, particularly on the East Coast. While having the GDP of whooping $1.2 trillion, the city and the surrounding metropolitan area dominate the economy of the state. 
Manhattan is the center of banking, finance, and communication in the U.S., while having New York Stock Exchange on the Wall Street. Also many of the world's largest corporations located in Manhattan, or the nearby Westchester County. Alongside the city exports a wide variety of manufactured goods to other states and countries. Being the leading manufacturer in railroad rolling stock, as many of the earliest railroads were financed or founded in New York. But as many cheaper and lower paying manufacturing jobs continue to relocate overseas, New York has seen a corresponding rise in technical manufacturing. Like computer products, video games, and 3D printing. You see, New York City is the best place to live in the US because of the opportunities and lifestyle. The city is also home for the second highest number of billionaires in the world. More than 90 billionaires live here, holding combined net worth of more than $500 billion. From the opportunities to the lifestyle, New York is truly a city of dreams. Now on the top, holding the highest GDP among all the cities. We have Tokyo, with a GDP of $1.5 trillion. Originated as a fishing village, named Edo, the city became a political center in 1603. By the mid-18th century, Tokyo was one of the most populous cities in the world, with over 1 million people. This city had gone through massive destruction from events like earthquake of 1923, to the destructions during World War II. But it managed to stand again. From the early 1950s, the city underwent rapid reconstruction and expansion, going on to lead Japan's post-war economic recovery. Today the city is a major international finance center. It houses the headquarters of several of the investment banks and insurance firms, while being the hub for Japan's transportation, electronics, and broadcasting industries. Tokyo is one of the three command centers for the world economy, along with New York City and London. Despite the emergence of Singapore and Hong Kong as competing financial centers, Tokyo manages to keep a prominent position in Asia. In the 2020 Global Financial Centers Index, the city was ranked as having the fourth most competitive financial center. Also the Tokyo Stock Exchange is the third largest by market capitalization, and fourth largest by share turnover. Alongside the city has nearly 50 billionaires living in it. Hence Tokyo is a good combination of ancient Japanese culture with modern lifestyle, which make it a good place to live. So these are the richest cities, considering their gross domestic product. What do you think about this video? And, would you like to see more like these in the future? Please tell us in the comments below. Also if you think we deserve, please consider subscribing. Thank you.